Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and I'm bringing you something a little different to your inside my room. There's my rig. So that's where I've just been rendering my new map tactics video. As you guys will probably know by now, it was airfield this week. But I am in the middle of making a build. Well, it's not a new build. Only a couple bits are new. I have a new power supply. Just to regular sort of power supply needed an 8 pin really to power this CPU because we overclock the CPU and this is an absolute hash of about three different computers <laughs> look at this case I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see let me move it a little bit but check this out it's actually like the world's oldest time case Time aren't even in business anymore. Anyone from the UK will know it's got a floppy drive, bros. That's how cool this is. And I've just added in a, I've just added in an old DVD drive, so at least it's going to be able to load the Windows 7 that I'm going to be putting on it. So I got my main rig a Blu-ray drive. Oh, it's upside down. So yeah, that was pretty cool. They're only about um, 30 euros now for Blu-ray drives. So I thought, hey, I'll get my main rig a Blu-ray drive. And so this is a combination of this time case, which I kid you not, must be at least 10 or 12 years old. Um, the hard drive, which is about 10 or 12 years old, thankfully it's still 80 gigabytes, so that's enough. I'm not sure what you guys know about hard drives at the moment, but they're very expensive. You've got to drop about 50 euros on a half decent sized hard drive. And this used to be my, and this used to be my old, um, Motherboard, as you can see, used to be a Fatality FPIN9 SLI. I never really did SLI with it because I found that by the time you needed to get a second card that you might as well buy one of the new faster cards. If you're going to do SLI, like, I don't think you should ever think about, oh, I'm going to add one in later, unless you really are because <laughs> you end up just finding it's cheaper and more energy efficient to just buy a new powerful card rather than adding another one into your rig that will probably cost you about the same because they don't ever go down in price. They're cheeky buggers, they know what they're doing to milk us of our money. So this has got a ridiculous heatsink fan, uh, what is it called? I can't remember, it's a Freezer Pro which used to be awesome for the old dual cores. And it's got an E6600 or 6600, whatever you want to call it, under there, which I'm going to clock to about three gigs using this cooler, so it should be nice. So because of that, this is the, really the only new thing that I bought for this rig is this power supply, which I only really needed about 600 watts, but I managed to get this one, which was fairly cheap, which has got ridiculous amounts of connectors because we needed an eight pin. Not sure if you can see the CPU, the CPU, let me see if I can zoom in there. You'll see that? That's why we needed to get a more expensive power supply because when I overclock this CPU to three gigs, it's probably going to go from its 65 watt TDP up to about, well, I don't know exactly, but I know that if you use a four pin connector, it can only supply 75, and I wanted this to be fairly stable. And that is because this is going to be the rig of the Peppy Pepper. This is what she's going to learn to play tanks on in July when she's here. But that's a secret because she's not meant to know, but she'll probably watch this video anyway, so, well, she'll know by then, so it's all good. But yeah, anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that you can combine rigs so always keep your computer stuff and what you have lying around and you know you can make fully functional rigs i mean i could even turn this into a media pc just by buying a just by buying like a 30 euro blu-ray player and it could play blu-rays you know if you don't have a playstation 3 like me then it's quite handy quite handy hey guys a quick update oh this thing was giving me a Bit of grief, as we can see there, we have a, a GTX 260 that I put inside it as well, I had, which is pretty cool. It should be an absolute beast card, able to run all the games really on top. I haven't tidied up the wires yet, so don't be hating on my wires. Um, it wouldn't start for a while, and then, so I slowly started taking everything apart again. Then I decided, why not test out the power supply? So of course, as you all know, you can use a paper clip to create a circuit. So I thought maybe the old, um, I thought maybe the old ridiculous 
power buttons on the front were broken. So you put one end of the paper clip into... Oh, by the way, you do this at your own risk, but do you see that green wire there going into the 24 pin motherboard supply? That basically supplies the motherboard with power. And you put one end of the paper clip in on the green wire, and then you put another one into any one of the black connections. Um, and then you turn the power supply on, it should work. And it did, so I managed to figure out that the power supply was fine. And then I found out that the power switches were fine by disconnecting everything. And it came down to this. It was this, look at these. It was this USB extender, so to say, that was basically, it must be busted. Look, it's really old. I should have really looked at it. Look, it's got like rust on the back. So I really should have figured out that that was the problem <laughs> more quickly. But we got there in the end. And we're about to boot up this bad boy and see if we can get it to post. More to come. Hey guys, we've been making some progress here. As you can see, the archaic time machine is now finished. I've got to tidy up the cables, but I'm not really too fussed. The airflow in this thing isn't exactly going to be very good from the front. So we don't even have a fan, but basically this is an 80 gigabyte ancient hard drive. I had to take the DVD rewriter from my current rig and put it into here. But then you'll be going, what are you doing then, Mr. Quickie Baby? What have you got? Well, I managed to pick up uh, a Blu-ray drive for the um, my current rig, which was a rather tasty, let's think, must have been 25 pounds, it's about 30 euros, and just, just under 40 dollars, I should think. But yes, basically, it is all good. The old school fatality 8-bit motherboard. And I've got her, my GTX 260, as you can see under there, which should go very well. And we're gonna, in a second, install Windows 7 on it, and then that's that. And if it doesn't work then, then I might have to think about replacing the hard drive because I'm pretty sure that'll be knackered. That's gotta be at least 10 years old now. Okay guys, so it posts, which is really good news. So I was just going into the BIOS to change the boot order so it would do the CD-ROM because DVDs were not invented. No, of course the DVDs were invented. But guess where I've left the disc? in the broken DVD player. So, I think I'm gonna just go to town on this bad boy. But yeah, Schoolboy Era 101, before you've <laughs> disconnected it. Oh God, oh God. So guys, it lives, it lives, the time machine lives. And we have Windows 7 on it, so. I had a bit of issues with the um, USB keyboard while doing the install, so I've just got two keyboards. Just a standard mouse. And this is where the Peppy Pepper is going to be. Ancient telephone. But yeah, now I've been installing lots of lovely stuff on it. We've got some steam on there, and yeah, I'm really impressed with how it's going to be um, working out. Should we just load up Skyrim? Looks like it's fairly quick. So there we go. Pretty flawless frame rate. I'm playing it on max graphics. So it shows you that Skyrim doesn't exactly need that much. So I'm impressed. That's what happens when you combine a GTX 260 along with a 3 gigahertz dual core and good cooling. Absolutely awesome stuff. So this is what Peppy's going to be playing tanks on. So I hope you guys tune in to some of our live streams that we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. I hope you liked um, seeing what I'm doing with building Peppy, the ultimate computer. Well, not really the ultimate computer, but more or less like a, a mix match of about 13 years of stuff. Combined with some new, we've got a new graphics card actually. Oh, that's one thing I should actually mention. Well, it's not new, that was my old one. But the one that Peppy's getting is fairly good. It's not this one. This is um, a 3850, one of the old ones. But inside that 
lovely case is a 260 GTX, which is a fairly good card, and that should be able to run this game on max. So yeah, we should have some fun. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon.